Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to the Toy Migos YouTube channel. This is Cheney180. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Jada Toys DJ. And man, oh man, this is awesome. This is a character that we have not seen in figure form before. Uh, we got close with Soda, uh, but no cigar there. Uh, but here he is now with Jada Toys. So... <laughs> this is very exciting. Uh, one of the things I do dig about this figure is, you know, the fact that he's shirtless and just has some pants. So his movement is very nice, just like Fei Long. Um, so there's not much hindrance on his articulation at all. But let's go ahead and take a closer look here at what we got going on. So you can see the uh, M in his hair there, which is very cool. You've got the material. The metal chain here, which comes with the figure, is nice. His braid's going down along the side there, which look good. Uh, paint applications on the face came out great. We've got a nice matte finish to this whole thing. Um, Cammy has it as well, and so does Guile. Uh, they look very, very nice. Uh, looks like I've got a couple little blemishes here on the chest with paint. Oh, that's exactly what it's from. So it's from where the uh, the braid sat on the chest in the package. That's a little unfortunate. But they're a soft, malleable plastic. Um, it doesn't look like they're articulated, though. So that's unfortunate. As you can see, we've got the uh, texture here for his gloves, which came out nice. We've got maximum written down the side here. Let me line that up. Paint application looks good. We've got a nice texture to the pants here, which came out nice. There's like also kind of like a, a wash to the pants as well. Uh, the overall mat really stood out to me, though. I really like the way that came out. It came out very nice. Yeah, so let's go ahead and check out his accessories. Quick little update here. I was wrong. The braids are articulated. You can swivel them. They pop out. You can change them out, which is really cool. As you can see here, plug this one back in. Or right here, we'll switch it to this one. And it's just the uh, paint was a little stuck on there. So, yeah, they swivel around, soft plastic. And, uh, yeah, you can interchange them. So. That uh, I noticed this when I was doing the pictures for it. So just want to give you guys a heads up. So DJ comes with two different heads. We've got a yelling face here. Or laughing or whatnot. But this came out really good too. Uh, his braids are positioned differently. So this is a new sculpt here on the back. But very awesome. He comes with two sets of hands. So he's got two fists. He's got the pointing hand here. And then the thumbs up over here, which is very cool. Maybe down the road we'll get his uh, maracas. That would be awesome as well. He also comes with, I wanted to mention this because, you know, they didn't have to do this. They didn't have to add a, uh, a actual, like, chain to his neck. But it really looks good. Kind of brings everything together here. Uh, but last but not least, we've got the stand. In his effect piece, which is what his air slasher or uh, max out, if I'm correct. And it has two different peg positions. So you can peg it like that if you want. Or it's got one here as well. So you can do it like that as well. And this is a soft translucent plastic here. So very nice. Sculpt came out good on it. You can see right through it came out very nice i do dig this but let's go ahead and move on to the articulation as i said before dj moves very well uh same as his wave mates guile and cammy uh all three figures have great articulation um so he can look up about that far down about that far and he has a barbell joint there and a ball joint at the bottom of the neck 
which is very nice. You can pivot side to side, all around. Looks good. Got a nice butterfly there. Goes back really far, forward as well. As you can see there, he could hold a sword if you wanted him to. Uh, the top torso is a ball joint there, and we get about that much movement. And then you got another one on the bottom there. So when you combine the two, you can lean back, crouch forward about that much. Very nice. The arms go all the way around. They go up about that high. Bicep swivel, double hinge elbow, comes in all the way, looking good. Hinge and a swivel at the wrist there. And then the legs, Go all the way. Very nice. And like I said, we've got the nice soft crotch piece there. So you can kind of push it to the limit a little bit. And bring that leg up like that. So that is good. And it goes back some as well. You've got a thigh swivel in here. Double hinge knee. And then you've got a swivel here at the boot which is uh, hidden wonderfully under the pants here hinge and ankle pivot here so very awesome articulation here he definitely moves I do dig that one thing that I do want to mention is out of the box his joints are super tight um, they loosen up in like a couple minutes you got to kind of work them but definitely with these knees here kind of had to work them into being able to bend and whatnot but let's go ahead and do some comparisons here he is with his wave mates guile and cami uh unfortunately there are no other dj figures for me to really compare him to so this is uh <laughs> as close as we're gonna get here he is with Dalsim and Feilong. Here he is with Chun-Li and Ken. Here he is with M. Bison and Ryu. And here he is next to X-Men 97, Wolverine, and Cyclops from Marvel Legends. Final thoughts on DJ here. It's very awesome to get the, uh, the missing new challenger that was never made for the Soda line uh, in this Jada line. So that is super duper cool. I really dig the way he moves. The articulation came out great on him. Uh, super fun figure. It's great to have the new challengers. Can't wait for T-Hawk to come out. And we'll have all four. Cami, Feilong, DJ, and T-Hawk. So that will definitely be awesome when that happens. But it's so cool just to get this figure finally in figure form after so, so long. Uh, if you collected the soda line like I did, they showed a DJ but never made one. We're nine figures in now. We've still got a ways to go. Uh, but everything was shown off at Comic-Con this year. So we know that that's, that's what the goal is. That's what the plan is. And we're going to be getting those figures. Uh, the two head sculpts that he comes with came out very nice. I don't know which one I like better. Uh, probably the open mouth one. That's That's so... It's it's pretty spot on, especially from that side profile. It came out great. Uh, one thing that I want to mention that I didn't notice until I was doing the video here is that it has the other plug here. So you could switch his effect piece up or sideways. Uh, so that's very cool. And it's weird as you turn it, the color kind of changes with it. So I do dig that a lot. But it's crazy because he does come with the standard two heads, two hands effect piece but you also get the chain there he's he's pretty packed out to be honest this is just neat this is so cool to see you know a dj figure finally after all this time that about wraps it up for this one guys thank you guys so much for tuning in hit that thumbs up share with your friends if you have not already check out the podcast chat me goes assemble on tuesdays they're not dolls on thursdays take it easy guys